What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about Crested Geckos. One of you guys had commented in the comment section below on the video about the top three beginner reptiles asking me to do a little bit more videos of the Crested Gecko. So today we're gonna to get into them a little bit more in depth and let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so first off, let's get into the sweatshirt though. Isn't this thing awesome? Shout out to my awesome girlfriend for uh, hooking me up with this awesome sweatshirt. Sai here is trying to uh, escape. Come here, buddy. All right. So this is Sai, my crested gecko. He's going to hang out on the camera, probably jump up on the leaves behind me. Um, crested geckos were thought to be extinct back in, I believe, the early 90s, somewhere in there. Um, they were thought to be extinct for quite a while until one fell out of a skylight in a lab. Um, since then, obviously, they've made quite the comeback. Um, there's crazy amount of morphs and different colors, you know, stuff like that. Um, with crested geckos, I don't even think it's really called a morph. It's more of like a, a mutation with the colors and whatnot. Um, but obviously, since they have been thought to be extinct, they have really made their way into the reptile hobby trade, um, stuff like that. And they are just, they're awesome animals. They're really cool. I love crested geckos. Like I said before, they're like one of my favorite geckos. Um, Sai is in a 20 gallon tall that was on its side, I put up on it, on uh, standing up, and he's got a fogger, um, we're gonna get into his food and his care and his setup right now, so let's check. Alright guys, so as you can see, this is Sai's enclosure, it's 20 gallon turned up on its side, and the way I was able to do this was I took a piece of plexiglass, put it on its side here, that way the eco earth doesn't fall out and pour all over the floor and make a huge mess. Um, it's a screen, sliding screen enclosure so I can just open it, it's got little tabs up here, that way it locks if I need to, um, that way nobody can get in and out of it or whatever. Um, he's got a fogger here, it keeps it pretty humid in there, he's got lots of places to hide, stuff like that. His food bowl, um, there's water on this side. Um, he is on Rapashi Crested Gecko Diet. Sorry about the glare. Um, he's on Rapashi Crested Gecko Diet. Um, as you can see, he's still, he's still small, he's just a little guy. Um, he's not even, probably not even really uh, sub-adult size yet. But, this is his enclosure. So now, let's talk about humidity and heat temperatures, food, and all of that. All right, guys, so let's talk about food. That's where we're going to start. Um, uh, Sai gets Rapashi, Crested Gecko Diet. Um, what you do is, if you if you want, you can get something like this. Um, I got this at an expo from d &E Reptiles. These guys are awesome. They make stuff like this. I'm pretty sure you can go on uh, their Facebook page and order stuff like this. Um, what you do here is you take this guy, and you take the lid off, put it on where the lid goes, and then you take your Rapache, you dump it in there, put as much as you want in there, and then you add some water, shake it up real good, make sure it's where you want it, how uh, you know, how thick or whatever, however your gecko likes to eat. Um, his, I like to keep pretty thick. Um, he likes it. And it also comes with this little spoon here, so you can kind of like scoop it out if you don't want to dump it. But that's what he's on for food. Um, this stuff has everything. You don't need to like calcium dusted or anything else. This, this is all everything he needs in one bottle. Um, also, you can give these guys crickets and dubia roaches and stuff like that. Obviously small, you never want to give a reptile more than, you know, two, I believe it's two thirds the size of their head or something like that. Um, never just want to give them anything too bigger than their head, honestly. Um, now, temperatures, uh, he stays pretty warm. In my room, it's, it's about 75 to 80 at like all times. So, but that's due to all the lights. So he really, room temperature of my room is okay for him. Um, at night, it drops down to about 70, 75. So that's all right. Some of my animals have um, nighttime heat and like purple bulbs and ceramic heat emitters and heat pads, stuff like that. But Crested Gecko, um, his light just gets shut off and that's when they're more active. These guys are nocturnal. So kind of hiding during the day, don't freak out. It's just part of what they do during the day. They like to hide, and at night they come out and they're pretty active. These guys are awesome animals. They they love to hop. They love to 
stick on the walls, climb up them, and they make good starting reptiles, honestly, like I said in my last video about the top three, that's why they're in there, they're awesome, they're easy to care for, as long as you do your research, you're going to be just fine, um, as long, honestly, if you just have one at size, size here, um, a 10 gallon is just fine, um, I plan on getting another one here very soon for size, so that's why I upgraded him, and it gives him more room, and humidity is really about 50% to 60% and you can achieve that by spraying them at least once to twice a day. Um, I, I still do uh, mist his enclosure even though he's got a fogger which does help the humidity quite a bit. Um, but that's an easy way of boosting their humidity is spraying it down at least twice a day. Um, that's basically all I've got for you guys right now. Thank you guys for watching as always. That is how I care for my crested gecko, and I will be getting another one here very soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, the next video that I post, I'm hoping it will be over the weekend, it will be making a rack system for all four of my 40 gallon breeders. So. Stay tuned guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and subscribe for more. Hit the red bell. That way you guys are always notified every time that I post a video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.